Based on the feedback I received during the alpha build, I have added a few things to the game alongside doing some bug fixes from the alpha build. The bug fixes I edited were when you restart the game, it will not come up with the dictionary errors from trying to reapply the commands made before. Another comment I received was to remind the players of what the controls are. So I added a text to the bottom of both scoreboards saying what the commands are for the game. Another thing I added was in the event that the score is not tallied properly, and let's say in this situation I have here, Lou actually scored the fourth point and red did not. So what we can do is red subtract blue point. Now the problem that comes up here is red is still supposed to be serving. So what we can do now is change serve and now red is serving again. I added this because when I was thinking through how I was going to implement the point editing system Manually changing the serve seemed to be the best idea. Now, if we are to get to the end of the game real quick, I can show you another thing I added in. So, red point. 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 Now we are at game point. And the chain, the serving, the person who is serving will stay at the player who is behind to give them an advantage so they serve every turn. So then what's left to do is blue can catch up to red. And the serve will not change every two. But it will also not change every one. It will stay on blue until blue is at 10 points. Blue point. 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 So now that they're both at 10, it goes to the deuce part of my table tennis rules code where it will now change who is serving every point. So red point, blue point, and the only way to win is to be two points ahead of the other player. So let's say blue point, blue point. The so blue has won, and you notice at the bottom it says quit or restart game. So if you say both of these commands are available throughout the entire game, restart game is listed in the commands in the scoreboards. Quitting the game is not, just because typically when you would use it, you would be done with the game at the victory screen, and this is on both the red and blue win states. So let's reset game. Restart game. Sometimes it responds to reset game, which is funny. And I'm still trying to figure out what exactly happens with that. Sometimes it doesn't read, sometimes it does. Now you may have noticed when I was at game point that it had a new graphic besides just a panel that said game point. I'm going to see if by the end of the time on this project I can make a better looking graphic for the game point. But what I'm mostly going to be working on is implementing new graphics for the scoreboard itself. Otherwise, uh, the quitting game function is available throughout the entire game. So let's use it here, quit game. 
and there it is. This has been my beta build, and I hope to see you in the next update.